What's going on everybody? My name is Mr. Relics. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can show what you're currently listening to on Spotify. Have that display on your stream and as a bonus tip I'm going to show you how you can then implement that with Streamerbot to set up an action so when the song changes that it will actually update and it will show a notification right in the top hand corner. You can position it wherever you want but for me that's where I put mine and every time the song changes it will update and it will notify your stream of what you're currently listening to. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to make sure that this works is you're going to need to be using OBS Studio. This will not work for Streamlabs OBS. There are other methods for Streamlabs OBS, but this is specifically for OBS Studio. What we're going to be doing is downloading a plugin called Tuner. So you can just type in Tuner OBS plugin, it will be the first link. I'll also leave a link for it in the description down below. But what you're going to want to do is go to the page, press download, make sure that your OBS uh, is closed when you install it, download the installer, and once it's installed, we can then head over to OBS Studio. Okay, once you're in OBS Studio, you want to head to Tools and the menu at the top and hit Tune at Settings. It's going to bring up a settings window a little bit like this, and we're going to do a little bit of pre setup first of all. As you can see here, it says Song Cover Path. Make sure you remember where that is. You can change it to any way you like. I like to leave it at the default, but you want to copy that. Now, if you're following along with me, you want to create three separate text files. I've named mine Artist, Full Name, and SongTitle.txt. Put those in the same directory as the cover.png. And then what you want to do is direct your tuner installation to those text files. So. For the songtitle.txt, I went to add new. I went over to songtitle.txt. It's then going to give you some variables that you can use. So if it's the song title, we're going to do percent sign lowercase t. We're going to press OK. And then we'll do exactly the same thing for the other two files as well. So for the full name, we want percent sign m, put a space, and then percent sign t. And that will give you the artist name and then the title of the song. For artists, we just want percent sign %m, and that will just give you the artist name. Once you've done that, you then want to head over to the Spotify tab, and you want to set up your Spotify. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You can either press Open Login Page and Login Through the Website, or if you want to make sure this is persistent, you can head over to developer.spotify.com, log in with your Spotify account, and press Create App. Name it whatever you want, and press I Understand. It's then going to give you a client ID, which you can copy and paste into the client ID. And you can show the client secret, which you copy and paste and put in there as well. Once you've done all that, you can pr press apply and hit OK. Next, putting it into your stream is one of the easiest things you can do. The way I did it is I created a nested scene and I called it Spotify Widget. I display the album art. What you need to do is press add, image, call it whatever you want, press browse and we want to head over to wherever wherever cover.png was located. If you don't know where it is we can go to we can go to the tuner settings like this and we can find out where it is. So for us it's C users, my username and then cover.png and you basically direct your image file to that path. Next is to create some text files with the text files you just want to make sure it's read from file and direct them to the text files that we created earlier. So artist and song title, we can ignore full, full name for now because that's going to be used for something else later. Now at the moment, this isn't going to update anything because we haven't started the local web server. So what we're going to need to do is head to tools, tuner settings and basic, and then make sure the source is Spotify, change your refresh to whatever you want, and then you want to press start hit apply, hit OK, and then all you need to do to test it is start listening to a song on Spotify. It's not 100% instant when it changes, it does take a little bit to update. If you head over to the tuner settings, you can change the refresh rate to something like 500 milliseconds, which makes it go a little bit quicker. And now that should update with whatever you're listening to on Spotify. Now let's work on the streamable element on this video, where we're essentially going to make an action. So when the song changes, it's going to trigger that action and it's then going to display what's currently playing as an alert on our stream. 
So what we've just made, everything there, pull it all into a group and name that group whatever you want. I like to add transitions to my groups, so I like to add in the slide transitions. For this one in particular, when it becomes visible, it slides down, and when it becomes invisible, it slides up to hide it. Okay, now let's head over to Streamabot and make it happen over there. Once you have Streamabot open, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is head to Settings and File Watcher. This is very important. Now what I've done with my file watcher is I've made it watch the song title.txt that we created earlier. So every time that gets changed, it's then going to trigger an action. And the action I've uh, made is called song changed. So let's make that action now. Head over to the actions tab, right click and press add. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine 8989 because this is just going to be a test for me. This is a super simple action. All we're going to do is we're going to add an action and we're going to add a delay of one second. This is just so it's got time to update. We're going to then add another action where we go to OBS set source visibility state. Go all the way down to our Spotify widget. Whatever you named your group, that's what you need to select and you want to select visible. We can then add in another delay. I like to make mine around about four seconds. And then just for convenience, we can right click the source visibility state, duplicate the action, double click it, and then change that to hidden. Now that's it, that's all you need to do. And then when you go to the file watcher, you can link that action to it. What Streamerbot is then gonna do is then just check that file. And every time that text file gets changed, it's then gonna trigger the action where it waits for a second and then up, it then makes that source visible. It holds it for four seconds and then it makes it invisible. So when I'm streaming and the song changes, it will appear up there. Now, as I said before, it's not 100% instant because it's using the Spotify API. So it's making a request every 500 milliseconds to kind of see if the song has changed or not. And when it discovers that it has changed, it's then gonna download the new artwork, it's gonna then change the text files, and then it's gonna update. So it's not 100% instant, but it does work, and it's very, very good. Now the Eagle Eyes viewers out there will have noticed that earlier we created three text files. We created the song, the artist, and the full text name, but we never used the full name. That's because that can be used for a command. So if someone wants to know what song is currently playing, you can then display that in your Twitch chat. Let me show you how you do that. So we're gonna head over to Streamerbot, obviously. We're then gonna create a new action. We're gonna call this whatever you want. And in the sub actions, first of all, we go to action, file, and we're gonna read lines from file. So we press that, and we're gonna direct that to the full text path. So it should look something like this, full name dot text, and we're gonna press OK. Honestly, this is like the easiest command you're ever gonna do in your life. You're then gonna press add action, Twitch, and then send message to the channel. And then all you wanna do is just put whatever message you want. So the current song playing is, and then we're gonna need a variable. So we're gonna do percent sign, line, zero, because it's just the first line, percent sign, and OK. Then all you need to do is head over to commands at the top, add a new command, call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call mine 09. We'll do action. You then select the action. And now when someone types in exclamation mark, whatever it is you called your command, if a song is currently playing, it will then show up in your Twitch chat. If you learned something new today, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel because I make OBS content all the time where I help you to level up your streams. I do also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mr Relics. I'd love to have you come along to one of the live shows. You can ask me questions about OBS, streaming in general, or you can just come and hang out. But thank you so much for watching everybody. Until next time, take it easy.